Hello everybody and welcome back to Final Fantasy XII Zodiac Age where apparently in this episode I just hop right into like doing another fight with this boss determined to beat it. Uh, spoiler alert, I don't <laughs> this first time around. Um, this episode is actually an amalgamation of three different episodes and in the end we do eventually progress and it's actually quite spectacular in my opinion. <laughs> but um, thank you all so much uh, for putting up with the, the cuts and stuff that will happen um i did my best so uh without further ado let's get the episode started I feel like I did that incorrectly. <laughs> oh, this is like my second try, I think, on this boss, and I didn't do like any damage with that. <sighs> oh, alas, it still escapes me somehow, those. This is a different day, by the way. Also, I think I changed up the squad. I didn't realize I changed up the squad. It's doing okay. I think Shell is helping. Um, what's her name? Penelope? She hasn't been put to sleep quite as often. But I am about to run out of health potions. Holy cow! I just got like frozen into a block. That was not cool. And like it took down like so much health like immediately. Okay, I am this close, but I should probably go level up. Which means I'm just going to run around the shrine, I guess. Just run around the shrine. Oh, I found a secret area. I mean, it's not really find. So I, I might show it, but I went through here because I was like, Oh, I'll just do the save crystal really quick. And I don't know if I'd actually been in there or not. And this is a new... At least I think it's new. Oh, hello. <coughs> Maybe this will help me level up. Wow. Hey, jeez. Oh, dang. Oh, how did I get some health back there? She's trying her very best. Hmm. Oh, good. So this whole thing is like a secret. Huh. Looks like a throne. Oh, she triggered the trap and apparently it was a rejuvenation trap. How exciting. Okay, so I've reopened podcasts. 
um, because I keep getting, I'm so close, but I think I need to level everybody up at least two levels. Um, so I'm back out here in the icy place. And I'm gonna, because I was kind of trying to do this thing where I was gonna go back and forth in and out of a save area to fight some of the higher level guardians that were just outside the door to the boss, to the ice mermaid. Um, but that wasn't working super well. The game kind of seemed to know what I was doing and didn't respawn them as quickly as I wanted. So we're out here. We're gonna just see if it's worth our time to try and kill any of these things. Where did that... I saw like a yeti looking thing. I thought it was like a monster I was gonna be able to fight, but maybe that was like a... a mystery thing that I don't actually... That it was like, ooh, secret, like, oh, look at you. <laughs> or you know what I mean? Like, like a glimpse, like in Skyrim you can kind of sometimes see the ghost horse or something. Maybe that was a glimpse of a yeti that doesn't, it's not actually like a mob, it's like a, ooh, you saw a yeti. <laughs> Either it's a boss or just a fun little easter egg type thing. Or it's actually a mob and I'm just not seeing it. There it is. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, of course. <laughs> oh dang. Oh snap. Oh, oh boy. I didn't help it too much. Okay. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. It's this crazy thing. There's secret yetis. Nope. No secret yetis. Oh, come on. Oh, I thought. Okay. Anyway. Back on the grind. <laughs> I guess it makes sense now for still, for still Shrine of Miriam to have an ice mermaid. Because um, it's very icy out here, except not in the area immediately outside the shrine. It's like perpetually nice weather for some reason. It's like a nice summer day or something. The weather changes abruptly. Okay, so I have spent the last like hour and a half or so, maybe an hour, um, leveling up. Everybody's at level 26 except for Pinello's at level 31. And unfortunately, Ash, I did kind of leave Ash behind and she's only at level 25, but... Let's give this a whirl. Oh, I just realized I meant to um, go buy more stuff, but here we are. Also, I just realized earlier that Asuna is what I use instead of Dispel now. I'd forgotten that that was a thing. That 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 was the thing. So did I use it on the right person? I didn't do anything. <sighs> well, looks like I'll just have to spend another couple hours tomorrow grinding up some more. It's not too hard to grind them um, in the ice place. We leveled up pretty quick. But 
I don't even know where this part of the episode's gonna go, but if it goes at the end, thank you all for watching. If not, I think I'll see you in a second, but if this is the end, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Hello everybody and welcome back to Final Fantasy XII where I have moved the mic closer to me. I'm not sure if that's good or bad. Um, or if this is even going to be the beginning of an episode, but it hopefully will be because I've kind of lost track of things. I've done three hours of grinding, I think, or so in this game in the last bit. I've listened to a ton of my podcast um, that I've been listening to, History of the Crusades. It's very, very good. Very interesting. Um, but finally got up from level 24 <laughs> from everybody to level 28, except for Pinella, who's an outlier and shouldn't be counted. Um, and I bought, I mean, I've upgraded people's licenses and stuff like that. I have bought a bunch of, um, you know, items, echo herbs, potions. I didn't really buy a ton of potions, actually. But, uh, let's see. Got some echo herb. I got some handkerchiefs because there is some oil issue. Like, not in this boss fight, but in this area, anyway. Uh, got some princess kisses, kisses, because, you know, it's useful, some other things. Just during grinding, I got a bunch of phoenix down and high potions, so that was nice. Got a bunch of chronos tear, because falling as asleep, the mages in here, in this, um, boss fight, they, they're, it specifically targets the mages to fall asleep. <laughs> so, which is nice, at least it's not everybody, <laughs> right? <laughs> They'll be kind of broken. <laughs> There's no way for you to fix it. Um, but yeah. So we're just gonna get to the... Oh, and I think I got some upgrades for... Weapons and stuff, but I'm keeping the ice shields on because... They are very good against this ice monster, so... But yeah, we're just gonna get back to the door and get in there. Gosh dang it. I keep thinking, oh, what can I use to, like, you know, like, elemental stuff? And then I'm like, doesn't matter, it has reflect on it. Although now I remember, to be fair, I do remember what thing it is that I need to use, like, what ability I need to use to try to get rid of that, but it might just be for allies. Let's see. Let me see if I remember. Asuna? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that- oh, and I, I did buy- I tried to buy more spells. But... The place I went didn't have a ton, so. Here we go! Oh, let's hope for the best! Oh my gosh! I think housekeeping's right outside the door, so I'm like being extra quiet. <laughs> also, I was editing the other day and realized you guys can hear my keyboard pretty well, and I apologize for that. Okay, it's not going bad. I'm just gonna do this, just to... Make sure we're all topped out. I preemptively cast a uh, shell and protect on all of us. Which seems like it's doing its job because Patel and Penelope hasn't fallen asleep yet. <laughs> Dang. We're doing really well, honestly. I did not expect it to be this much of a difference. Because I came in here, as you guys probably saw, on, uh, oh, here. I came in here at level 26, I mean, we're all level 26s. And... 
it did it went the same as it went at, when we were at 24. She's asleep. Wake up. She didn't do it sooner. I thought she I was hoping that she was like mid cast. I was hoping she would do it. Okay, good. Oh my gosh, guys. Wow. The difference between 26 and 28 was huge, apparently. That was so, <laughs> wow, that was so much easier. We did it. <laughs> Penelo with thumbs up, yeah. <laughs> I'm impressed. That made that was very worth it to grind that long. Well, I'll be danged. I'll be diddly danged. <laughs> A bubble boat. That sounds interesting. <gasps> oh, excuse me. This is yeah. All right, uh, out we go. I can't believe it was that easy. I'm blown away. Only had to use one prince's kiss. Good. That was good. I don't even remember why we're here. <laughs> oh yes, I remember. The sword. We're here for the sword. It's been so long. A non sword. It's an empty sword. You should try it on the Dawn Shard. See if it can destroy Nethicide or not. What? He just may be onto something. The Dawn Shard's no use to us, after all. But it's a family heirloom. The stone bleeds mist. It has been roused. It fears the sword. <sighs> oh, I thought she wasn't going to do it. Is she gonna do it? <laughs> oh boy. Ah, uh, does not. Oh, 
Oh. The oh, stone is quiet. What? This is the sword, the Nethersite Destroyer. Surely it find its mark. Okay, she Vaughn. didn't. She purposely didn't hit it. Tell me, did you see him again? I didn't. Not a thing. Not even my brother. Not... not anything. The Sword of Kings, yo! We did it. How exciting. Okay, so she purposefully didn't hit it because uh, she saw like her husband in there. And he was like, don't do it. And, but she hit right next to it. And with that slightly awkward cutoff, we're gonna end the video here. So uh, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I was actually legitimately quite pleased with how well that last fight went. Uh, it was about three hours of grind total, I think I said. Um, and very worth it. So, um, anyway, this is the part of the video where I say thank you to my patrons. So, I want to say thank you to all of my patrons, but to especially my, first, my sapling tier patrons, uh, Scalamonger, who is, like I said, a tier 2 sapling patron, and who I really appreciate. Thank you so much for your support. And I want to say thank you to Reese Galito, who is also a tier 2 sapling patron, and whose support is invaluable to me. Seriously, thank you so much. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Christopher, who is a tree tier patron and who is just the greatest. And I know I say that a lot, but I truly mean it because their support is means a lot. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one.